XRP PSYOP. You get it from the top down and you get it from the bottom up. First, let's talk about top down because I think that describing it as a PSYOP is, is more closely correlated with the activity that we see from the top down, the misinformation and the disinformation that is coming from the top down. Let's give you guys the definition of a PSYOP here to get started. So I pulled this up. Psychological operations, also known as PSYOP, are operations to convey selected information and indicators to audience to influence their motives and objective reasoning, and ultimately the behaviors of governments, organizations, groups, and large foreign powers. So obviously in this regard, this is to influence the motives and objective reasoning of uh, well, you, you could say that they're trying to throw off maybe, you know, governments that are considering the XRP ledger um, or, or organization. But really what we're talking about here is the group, the XRP community. We're talking about the average person that's trying to figure out what is XRP? What does it do now? What is it going to do in the future? What is the real value of this ledger and the native token XRP? Let's try to understand this thing. And what you guys have seen is we've been battling a top-down PSYOP of what has been disinformation and that's that's misinformation that's given out on purpose it's intent right there's an intent to deceive that's what disinformation is so they manipulate the price right? this is one aspect of it the second is the sec lawsuit and then the next is public campaigns against xrp with disinformation which leads and fuels more misinformation for example, you have Bitcoin Maxis saying crap that is not true, and then that story is perpetuated. I can't tell you how many Bitcoin Maxis I have talked to in the, you know, the last few years, even just recently up here in Vancouver Resource Investment Conference, I'm not going to name names, but all they have to say about XRP is that it's a banker's coin that's going to help CBDCs, and they're all about freedom. They're all about freedom. And if you think that freedom, if you think that you're going to achieve freedom from Bitcoin, then let me know what you're smoking and pass some of that over here so I can hallucinate too. Because the only way you're getting free from Bitcoin is if you bought in early and you've already sold off a big bag that you can now use to be free with. I, to, to say that buying Bitcoin now is going to give you freedom is a delusion, right? But once again, what did they spread? It's all disinformation. And then what happens is it trickles down to a lower level of misinformation that just continues to get perpetuated by folks that don't know any better. But at the top, it is intent, it is designed to mislead us. And you're ta we're, we're talking about the largest incumbents in the world, JP Morgan, going to the offices of Ripple, trying to do a deal, and then on the back end we have Jamie Dimon still in the last couple weeks saying that Bitcoin's only used for criminal activity, doesn't see the use in crypto, none of this is important. Meanwhile, he sets himself up to be an authorized participant on the spot Bitcoin ETS, and they sent 15 of their executives to the offices of Ripple. They're definitely interested. And they've already launched their aunt's uh, blockchain solution as well, which nobody wants to use that, or uh, they've gotten a little bit of traction, but nobody wants to use JPM Core, right? Uh, people are already using JP Morgan systems, but that doesn't mean that anybody wants to hold JPM coin, right? But what the point is, guys, is from the top down, it's a psyop to mislead the average investor, to mislead someone who's looking to invest in the digital asset space, and they are fed lies, some by design on purpose, and others misinformation that just continues to get spread and perpetuated throughout the communities, right? Now, from the bottom up, what we're dealing with is a group of people that want to control the narrative. We're talking about co other content creators. We're talking about XRP community members, some that are personally coming after me and coming after what we say because we call XRP a world reserve digital currency. And I've explained this and made this as simple as possible. We don't have to have some confusing conversation that's lost in the nuance. I'm not saying that XRP is a more adopted world reserve currency than the US dollar. That's not what I'm saying at all, right? I already said earlier in the stream, the US dollar is still the cleanest shirt in the closet, but people are seeking alternatives. If you want to call Bitcoin a world reserve currency, sure, go ahead, right? It is being held as a store of value, which is the first part of, of, of a reserve, and then the other part is being used as a payment system. Bitcoin is. Is it an effective one? 
No. Is it very slow? Is it very expensive? Yes. Does it suck? Absolutely. But it still is being treated and uh, used as a world reserve currency by many people in the Bitcoin community. And so my point is, is that the same thing's taking place with XRP. My XRP, I put out a video. I titled it with a thumbnail. My XRP identifies as a world reserve currency. Now, I'm making a joke about how everybody wants to identify as a zebra, a unicorn, live in airy fairyland. And I'm not here to live in airy fairyland. You guys know that. Let's keep it real. But the reason why I call it that is because that we have, by definition, a world reserve currency here. We have a worldwide population that holds it as a store of value, myself included. Now, am I an idiot for doing that? Am I dumb? Uh, that's somebody else's opinion. Perception is reality. And our reality in the XRP community for many of us is that we are treating it as a world reserve digital currency. The beautiful thing about a reserve currency here is that you can hold it as a store of value and you can also use it for a transaction settlement, a payment system. And with the XRP ledger, you're going to get all sorts of utility that you don't get with a US dollar, that you don't get with a Bitcoin, that you don't get with gold or a silver, that are also world reserve currencies by definition and so we have our community is literally getting attacked from both sides from the top down CNBC won't mention it Fox Business I thought they were going to talk about Eastgate where are they at I thought wait are we, are we still going to cover that or not oh no okay that's right because where does Eastgate lead to it leads to consensus it leads to JP Morgan, and it leads to the top of Wall Street. As I said, it's a PSYOP from the top down, where they came after us and attacked us, and the SEC knew they didn't have a case, but they still brought it anyways, saying that all XRP sales were a security. It was the greatest, the, 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 the biggest, um, I, I don't want to say abuse of power, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Stretching the law to where they obviously knew it did not apply, right? but they did it anyways. Why? Because XRP and the XRP ledger was the biggest threat to the incumbents. It's very simple. And so it's a top-down psyop to make us think that XRP has no value, and the biggest narrative that they want to come against is us calling it a reserve currency. Now, on the lower level, there's some people that are just too stupid to wrap their mind around it, and, and, and so, and, and they think that it's inappropriate that we talk about XRP being a reserve currency. It's inappropriate that we talk about XRP being higher than $5. You know, they, they want to be the Twitter and the, the thought police, right? And so, you guys see it from the top down and then from the bottom up. Misinformation that's spread by dupas morons that just don't know any better. Because they listened to a Bitcoin maxi that was sharing disinformation. They're deep, and, and, and what you have is the loudest people are the most emotional traders that are, you know, made a bad investment. They overinvested. They have a bad business that's not working, and then they want to blame Ripple, right? It's the same thing. A, 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 and I'll just be right, right up front with you guys. It's the same exact thing. What I see is investors who don't want to be accountable for the investments that they've made, the business decisions that they've made. And then you have some builders they don't want to be held accountable that they just didn't build a business with a viable product. But they'd rather, excuse me, they'd rather blame Ripple. Their business is not viable. They don't offer products or services at a profit margin that is sustainable. And they want to blame Ripple. Same thing as an investor who invested 500 bucks in XRP and XRP hasn't gone up yet. And they fumbled in at $1.50 and now they're down and they want to blame somebody who makes content about XRP. But, you know, instead of being accountable, they want to blame somebody else.